Why don't you wear your hair like that all the time? It's much sexier. <laughs> yeah, put it back up. I'll throw mine up quick. Okay, stuff together. Um, hello. Okay, hello. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm just ordinary black girl, but you can call me Destiny because that's what my mama named me. Anyways, I am back for another episode of The Office. This will be, ooh, this will be season two, episode thirteen. Ooh, thirteen. Hold on, side thirteen with my hands. Ten, three, thirteen. <laughs> this will be episode thirteen for me. But y'all know I like to refresh my memory about what happened last time before I get into the next episode. Last episode was called The Injury. Michael had a foot injury because, you know, this is this is what he said. He said that he liked to smell, he liked to smell fresh crackling, <laughs> fresh crackling bacon in the morning. So he had a foreman's grill in his room on his floor. He said he woke up, put six scripts of bacon on the grill, turned it on, went to sleep woke back up stepped on the grill foot injury but he was acting like he got shot in the head he was acting like a big baby he came into work on crutches he was acting like a big baby when all he really needed was some aspirin that's all he needed but you know of course michael gonna push the envelope and take it you know it could, it could be here but michael's gonna take it there that's just what he does you know i you know me and michael we spent a lot of time together you know this is episode 13 for me and i've already watched six episodes so me and michael have spent a lot of time together and i just noticed that michael you know michael like i like to say michael is michael michael he's very michael but anyway michael was fake hurt while dwight was really hurt he had a concussion because he rushed out of the office and hit a pole trying to go save michael like i said i believe that michael and dwight are best friends but dwight i think dwight shows that michael is his best friend but i think michael doesn't want to accept that Dwight is his best friend. He don't want to accept that. He always bragging on him. He call him stupid and stuff. But he know that at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to be there for him like Dwight. And he need to open his eyes and realize that. Uh, because of Dwight having a concussion, he was extra nice to Pam. Very nice to Pam. Uh, and he was extra, he was being flirted with Angela in the office in public. You know he can't be doing it. So... But we did get a little Dwight and Angela, you know. We got a little. He got hurt. She cared, but she didn't want to show. But she was showing. But she didn't want to show, show. But she was showing it. We saw that she. We saw that she was like, "Oh my baby, all right." Um, didn't really know Pam and my Pam and Michael. Pam and uh Jim flirtation go on for real. Nope. You know the episode ended abruptly with Dwight getting a casket, and that was just. Anyways, let's move on. The next episode is called, it's called The Secret. Okay, I guess like, you know, I like to guess a little bit. I guess it's going to be a secret going around the office. Don't know who it's going to be about, but y'all know I like to always throw the white in the mix. So maybe, maybe Angela and the white dandy doll are going to get out. Maybe that's the secret that's going around the office. Like maybe it's about to get out. And not just, it's not just going to be Pam and Jim speculating. Like it's really about to be some concrete evidence. Because up until now, you know, they've been keeping that pretty much to themselves. So, and that's my guess for this episode. But you know what? Like I say, you never can really know what's about to be happening in this episode. So, I'm going to shut up. And we're about to get into this episode. Ah, what? What? Where's the funny? Give it to me. He ain't even heard nothing. Is it me or does it smell like Updog in here? What's up, dog? It smell like what? Not much. What's up with you? Oh, oh, okay. Jim got jokes. Oh, that's brilliant. He gonna steal it. <laughs> hey, is it me? Or does this place smell like up dog? What's up dog? Gotcha! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to, to say what to say. Nothing, what's up with you? Ugh. Mike, if you gonna steal a joke, steal it right now. It's spring cleaning day here at Dunder Mifflin, and yeah. Okay. If you do your spring cleaning in January, guess what you don't have to do in the spring? Clean. Where is Oscar? He's out sick. That is unacceptable. I agree. And that's why they are a perfect match. Oscar is out sick. 
on a Friday. And it's unacceptable, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think I came down with the flu. Really? Could have used some of that famous Hispanic cleaning ethic. I have the chills. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling nauseous and my head's killing. Checks out. Leave that man alone. He sounded sick. Which is exactly how you'd want to sound if you wanted someone to think you were sick. May I investigate? Yeah, drop what you're doing. Make this a priority. I bought my veil. Oh my god, that is so exciting. Oh. Can I be a bridesmaid? Um, do they know each other like that? Why don't you wear your hair like that all the time? It's much sexier. <laughs> yeah, put it back up. I'll throw mine up quick. Yeah, on the booze cruise, I told Michael about some feelings I used to have for Pam. You ain't no use doing that. I confided in the world's worst confidant. Mm-hmm, confided in Michael. And when he said engaged, ain't married. So about Pam, that was personal. So if we could just keep that between you and me. So is that the secret? Or is that for to come out? I thought people be like, duh. Duh. Who didn't know that? The fact that he told me his secret and no one else says everything about our friendship. And it is why I intend on keeping that secret. Hmm. We'll see. I am no longer going to be able to head up spring cleaning. Do you think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. Do you think or do you know? You better know, Ryan. He don't, the white don't play no games. Look at that look on his face. <laughs> he be so serious. P-A-M-P-A. Um, yeah, no. P -A oh. Okay. No, it's okay. We're talking code. I'm spelling her name is not cold. <laughs> Oscar, how you doing? Dwight Trude calling. I called six minutes ago and no one answered. Cause see in the bed sick. He could have been in the bathroom throwing up. There are several different ways to tell if a perp is lying. How? The liar will cover part of his or her face. Well, he is not in the office. How you gonna how you gonna figure this out? He's not here. Yeah. You don't hear that much anymore. Not so much. Okay, what is going on here? Fact. You are talking to Jim, you never talk to Jim. He knows so much about his best friend, Michael. Hey, you know what we could do? We spread out a blanket in the break room, have a little picnic, order some za. Some za? That was a good idea. Let's go out. I know just the place. Hooters, Michael. Hooters. <laughs> Why do I like Hooters? I will give you two reasons. The boobs and the hot wings. I think he's so hilarious. Mmm, sounds yummy. I will have a chicken breast. Hold the chicken. Oh. No, I'm gonna have the gourmet hot dog. Great. He's so stupid. So, how did Oscar sound when he called in? Sick. What do you like best about Pam? Talk about her legs or boobs or he like her personality, Michael. What did you guys talk about? Just you know, politics, literature. I hate you. <laughs> Just go to his house and see if he's sick. I could have done this investigation in like twenty minutes. What if he's not sick though? If I had to, I could clean out my desk in five seconds and nobody would ever know I had ever been here. Okay. Okay, Ryan. No, you look like Justin Bieber. I wear it like that sometimes. Is that a wig? You just got your corporate credit card back. Do you really want me to take it away again? <sighs> it's ridiculous. They took my card oh my away. God, why is he wearing his hair like that? Mm-mm. He's like an old young man. I'm not processing this. Look, Jim needed a relaxing lunch. Oh my he has God. been depressed. 
You don't know. He is in love with a girl he works with who's engaged, so just cut me some slack, please. Mm. Pam? Mmm. Ew, his big ass mouth. Angela, who would you choose? Jim or Roy? It's nobody's business, Phyllis. The white? So this the secret that's going around the office? Mocking his big ass mouth. I suspected an ex-girlfriend of mine of cheating on me, so I tailed her for six nights straight. Turns out, she was. He's fucking crazy. Oh my god, he's crazy. He's insane. Jeez. Why didn't you tell me that you had a crush on Pam? Mm. He to put this man business on front screen. I thought it was obvious. I guess nobody else just saw it. I told Michael that I had had a crush on you when you first started here. Oh. And when I found out that you were engaged, I mean, no, it was like, I, I know. know. I thought that maybe you did. So it's out, but it's not out. It's like he just confessed his feelings, but he put it in a past tense situation. So like it's out, but it's not out. <laughs> I am totally over it. Okay, Jim. Oh. If you say so. Okay, Jim. All right. All right, sir. Okay. He is still... The the work day over with now, ain't it? Oh man, you are so busted. Ice skates, shopping bags. I don't tell Michael, and in exchange, you owe me one great big giant favor. But now I know something he doesn't want me to know. So I can use his mouth. Okay, Oscar. Mm -hmm. I like men too. And women, depending on the day. I just hope it. I just hope that this doesn't affect our friendship. <laughs> How can you be mad at him for too long? And with him acting like that? Boss slash friend. No, it's really, it's okay. Um, I know that Jim had like a crush on me when he first started. It was on the booze cruise. Jim had a crush on me on the booze cruise, or he told you about it on the booze cruise? They know they feel what they feel about each other. Don't play in my face and like y'all don't know. Y'all know. I just can't wait till you get out. It's like they keep giving, they keep giving me nibbles. Nibbles. I need the whole meal. This movie? Portrait of a prostitute. Something. An elite character, Shyla, is framed for murder, goes on the run, and winds up working at a bordello in Malibu. I don't want to live like that. I like it here. Why would you live like that? I don't know what the hell he be talking about half of the day. Okay, I just finished season two, episode 13 of The Office called A Secret. I was slick. Now, I was gonna say I was wrong about my guesses. Y'all know I guessed it that maybe the Angela and the white thing was gonna get out. But I was slick, right? Because it was still about a secret about somebody liking each other getting out. So I was kind of right. <sighs> Michael opened his big ass mouth, went around the office spilling the beans about what Jim told him about Pam on the booze cruise. My thing was, I thought it was so obvious that Jim and Pam liked each other. I thought that everybody was gonna be like, duh, duh. Duh, but nobody was like this. So I guess it's not as obvious for them as it is for me. So there was the talk of the office. Uh, so they went around the office for a little bit. So Jim had to go clear that up. Pam told her that he liked her three years ago when she first got in the office, but then he found out she was engaged and he didn't like her no more. Lies, the lies, the lies, the lies. He lied. <laughs> so, the lies, like the lies. But like I said, you know, like I said, it's only I keep saying this, but it's only season two. I'm not I have to accept that I'm just not gonna get what I want from Jim and Pam right now. Like I'm ready for I still gotta wait for Pam to not think she about to marry Roy. Right now, she's talking about she bought her veil, so right now she still thinks she marrying Roy. I know that's not gonna happen because I know Pam and Jim end up together. I used to see the edits. 
I just don't know how they end up together. I don't know what was the fight, what was the moment, what was the moment. I thought that now would be the moment. I mean, like it basically came out that Jim got a crush on her, but like, like I said, he he cleared it up, flipped it around, reversed it, and now she thinking it happened three years ago. But Michael told her that no, he told me that on the booze crew. So okay, she keep that in the back of her mind, get that work, cause I know she go to bed dreaming about Jim and wake up dreaming about him. Okay, next part, we had Mike, not Michael, Dwight go to Oscar house. We found out that Oscar is, I guess, Oscar's gay. That's fun. Shout out to him. I like that for him. I'm into that. I like that. Hmm. Anyway, we saw, okay. I guess Oscar's gay, but, you know, and Dwight wasn't paying attention to that. He just worried about the fact that Oscar was lying about being sick. That's all that's on his mind. He cracked the case. Oscar wasn't really sick. So now Oscar owes Dwight a really huge favor. And I feel like that's going to come up because, you know, now I know that these offers coincide. These episodes go with each other. Like, what happened last time can come up with a, come up with the next episode. So I feel like that'll probably come out again. Oscar having to uh, fulfill that fulfill his obligations to the to white on that uh um yeah but that was about all in the episode anyways if you made it this far thanks for being here you ain't gotta be here but you are that's amazing you are amazing i would definitely 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 see y'all in the next episode of the office